welcome back to my channel. I hope that everyone is doing good. If this is your first time here, then welcome. When I posted my Eco Slay haul on Instagram and when I did my review of the orange marmalade, a bunch of you all told me how much you love their banana cream deep conditioner. I heard tales of amazing slip and moisture and you guys know that slip is my middle name so I am rocking this dusty crusty bun my hair is more tangled and matted than usual it is dry as a bone it just needs a lot of loving this particular deep conditioner is from my Black Friday haul so I have not been keeping it refrigerated like I'm supposed to but I have all my new goodies from my latest eco slay haul chilling literally in the refrigerator so that's good but um, yeah, I'm going to be using this one to deep condition my hair. It also says in the directions here that you can use it as a leave-in conditioner. So I'm not going to try that today because I just want to see how it works as a deep conditioner and then use products that I'm already familiar with so I can really gauge how it does as a deep conditioner. And then on a separate wash day, I'll be trying it as a leave-in conditioner with products that I already know that I use and love so I can see how each method of using it works for me. So... Let me show you guys what I'm working with. And my ring light just died. Ugh, I'm so sad. There were some comments on the Amazon review that said that it didn't last long, but then others said that it did, so I took a chance. And y'all, homeboy is done. I have a big old ring light. I don't know how to use it. It's intimidating. It looks very official. Plus, I film in like a little portion of my bathroom bedroom and I don't know how I'm gonna lug that big old heavy thing the other ring light is like ginormous so yeah hopefully you guys can like <laughs> see my hair and all this like crusty detail today but yeah I'm sad that my little light that I've been using is gone I haven't even had it for how long have I had this thing not long like six months so I'm kind of pissed but anyway let me show you guys what this hair is looking like OMG I'm so excited to try the deep conditioner because I feel like I need to give my hair like some extra special stuff today because it desperately needs it. OMG, what the heck? So yeah, as you guys can tell, I need to take it up a few notches in the deep conditioning department today and really just pamper my hair and give it some love so here's our before can't even barely feel my scalp from all the tangles dry frizzy so yeah still got some good curl definition from my last wash day which I am happy about I don't even know what day hair this is y'all if I had to guess I would say eight maybe that feels about right I'm going to slather my dry hair just like it is now in one of my cheapy conditioners let that marinate Ooh, these roots yeah that's not gonna be fun um so yeah i'm gonna let that marinate and tangle then i'm gonna shampoo my hair then it is on to the deep conditioner just been ah, water running down my back y'all know how things go when I take these shower caps off that's usually what happens but I just washed my hair and I used my Sorenzo clay wash which helps to give me a deeper clean and kind of helps to detox my hair so it is completely ready for this new deep conditioner see how it works so I am going to start the application process I love this clay wash so so much oh my goodness I'll post a link um, in the eye up here in case you want to check it out but it is my favorite clay wash that I've ever tried I just find that it helps to um, just go a little bit deeper with cleansing and it helps to reset my curl pattern as well my hair was starting to feel and look a little weak and limp again probably as I mentioned in my last video the um, Lux curls video my hair needs a trim so that combined with just needing a clay wash as well made the curls look looser than normal so the clay wash always helps to reset things really nicely so 
We're gonna start back here with applying the deep conditioner. It comes with a nice little protective seal. Of course, I've taken a little peek and, um, you know, looked at the consistency and tried to get a sense of what it smells like before this video, but now we can officially remove the seal. So this puppy is not a liquidy consistency. It's not runny. It's also not that thick, stiff consistency that you guys know I'm not a fan of. It's still nice and creamy. I have heard so many tales about the slips. I'm very excited about this initial application. So nice. It doesn't smell like bananas at all. It doesn't have a fragrance at all. And I looked on the ingredient list and there is not fragrance listed. So if you're someone that is sensitive to scents, that is something to note. That's cool. This is sinking in very, very nicely. Softening things up. I can feel the softness as I am smoothing this into my hair. Curls looking happy. Get a little bit more. I want to make sure I get my roots because my roots are where the bulk of my tangles like to hang out. Yeah, I'm feeling the slip now. Oh, I miss my light, y'all. I probably. If it looks the way it looks to me, it probably looks like really, really orangey. So hopefully I'll be able to get the other ring light that I have rigged up for the next video. But that thing is so massive. I don't know how I'm going to make that work. But anyway, ooh, yes, definitely feeling the slip. This is not something I can normally do with ease, running my fingers through my hair like this. So... That's awesome. But then I'm gonna get one last little bit and then literally just dig my fingers into my roots, the sections of my hair that I can't get to as easily. So I'm literally just getting in there to make sure I coat every last strand because I feel some tangles bunched up even though I just thoroughly detangle. So, you know. Okay, so I think that's pretty good for now as far as trying to re-detangle that section. And this helps so much. I think that after I let it marinate, um, I'm probably going to get that section again in the shower. But yeah, just for me just applying it, the slip that it's giving is really, really good. My hair feels great. And helping to remove some of the shed hair that was kind of trapped in that section. So I'm going to finish applying this deep conditioner to all of my hair, slap on my plastic cap, go for a walk. It's really hot outside today so the additional heat is going to help this to penetrate, kind of similar to the results I would get from my hothead heating cap. So I'm going to be getting some extra um, cuticle opening situation. Got back from my walk. I have my Grace Alaye. I hope I'm saying that right but um, you guys know I bought like a ton of these in my Black Friday haul video. Yeah, I bought like so many of them. So I just put it over this while I was working out so that, um, you know, I could cover up all this situation. But also with this being on top of everything, I was helping to insulate the heat, helping the deep conditioner to sink in better, use that heat of um, my body and like being outside to get things going. So let's see what it feels like now. Feels really good. Oh, it feels really, really good. Okay. Feels awesome. Mmm. If y'all could have felt my hair before I washed it, it was not good. Oh, heck yeah. I think I'm going to like this. I think I'm going to like it a lot. I'm about to rinse it out, of course. And you guys know I always say that's the true test of how your hair is going to respond to a deep conditioner. But y'all, oh my god, okay, so excited, and if you guys see white stuff on my shirt, that is my, whatchamacallit, um, sunblock, I wear sunblock every time that I go out the house, um, when I'm working out or whatever, if my skin is exposed, I wear sunblock, um, I do forget occasionally, but I would say like 99% of the time, I remember so yep that's what that is if you see it oh man do I smell another HG my hair feels really really good 
I am going to hop in the shower and rinse this out. So I will let you guys know once I get out how things are looking and feeling. But so far, I'm in love. And these results right now have me excited because this is kind of like a part one, part two type of video where I'm gonna try it as a deep conditioner and also try it as a leave-in. So based on these results, I am really excited to try this as a leave-in. Oh my goodness. I think I'm gonna have to do a wash and go then because if this is giving me this much curl definition on its own, once I pair it with a gel and everything, oh yeah, I think I'm gonna try it with a wash and go. So yep, yeah, I'll be back in a second, y'all. <laughs> yeah, I love this deep conditioner already. Like when I was in the shower rinsing this out, I was like, I could be happy using this every wash day and be fine. And you guys know what a massive product junkie I am. So anytime I feel that way about a product that I could see myself using it back to back to back and not get tired of it, yeah, I could definitely see myself using this all the time. Y'all saw how my hair looked at the beginning of this video. It was very, very dry. It was super dehydrated. It didn't feel really soft to the touch at all, hardly. It had some oil on it, but that was just, you know, kind of artificial softness. But it feels so much better. Oh, man. And this is my hair naked with no product. Um, I am someone who frizz loves them. And my hair is usually, like, mostly after I rinse out conditioners sometimes mostly just like a massive frizz with a few curls like here and there but my curls are so much juicier than normal we still got some frizz of course because you know that's like my hair's other middle name besides tangled so I'm always gonna be a little frizzy but I can definitely tell a distinct difference in my hair and I am calling it now I think this is gonna be another HG so I'm going to be using it as a leave-in conditioner for my next wash day. So we are going to dive into that next. But so far, I am really, really loving this product. So round two, trying this deep conditioner as a leave-in conditioner today. So another day, another styling session. I've detangled and deep conditioned, all that good stuff. So we are ready to move on to styling had a really weird wash day today i'll talk about the product that i used to deep condition in my next empties video because i used half the jar so it'll definitely be in the next one but yeah it was weird so to be continued on that so i am counting on this to give me fantastic moisture and just all the goodness that it did for usage as a deep conditioner but just leaving it in so i need all the help i can get because my hair is feeling kind of like WTF right now. So here's the texture of the product. Again, it's not runny at all, but it's not that um, stiff and movable um, as far as being able to melt in between your hands type of texture that I don't like in a lot of deep conditioners. So that's great because that helps it to penetrate my low porosity hair strands. So I always get started with styling on the left side of my head but what I'll do before I even get that party going is I will apply leave-in conditioner, whatever I'm using as my leave-in, to the right side so that it's not just like naked hair, just like drying and getting mad at me basically. So this helps to get the moisture started on the other side that I'm not working with while I am actively styling the other side. I don't get super detailed with the application. I just try to make sure I coat as much of my hair as I can with just like general application so that no strand gets dried out and wiry while it is waiting to be styled. So I'm just going to do one last little pass and just kind of really get up in there to the thicker sections that are harder to apply product to without doing this. So. That will help things out while Ooh, we ain't gonna waste none of this. So here we are on day seven of this wash and go using the Eco Slay deep conditioner as my leave-in. Of course, you guys saw my camera cut off right when I was about to get into like the juicy bits and really start going in and applying the deep conditioner. You saw when I do my initial like coverage on the side that I'm not working with before I jump into the side that I'm really going in with. So that being said, you guys didn't see how much product that I used 
in general as a leave-in conditioner. And that session combined with using it as a deep conditioner the week prior, this is all that I used. I hope you guys can see how close this is still to the full line. You guys know I do not shy away from products. I use a lot, a lot, a lot. I need my hair to feel that nice saturated feeling. That's with every step of my wash day, except shampoos. I don't like, you know, douse my head in shampoo. But every other product, definitely. With this, I didn't need to use nearly as much as I normally do. Deep conditioning session, leave-in conditioner, I'm still up to here. I'm still up to here. That is just... That's amazing. So here's a little close-up of the texture of the product. Not runny at all, but it's not that stiff. I'm not budging like want to be, you know, first stage of concrete level that I sometimes find with some deep conditioners. And as I mentioned, I just this year have finally, you know, figured out that I am low porosity. I think I used to be high porosity, but I'm low now. So my hair can't take stuff that just sits on top of the strands because my hair is not having it. So I need something that's gonna penetrate, that's gonna sink in, and this stuff fits the bill. In fact, I am going to add it to the nape of my neck right now because I am probably going to end up washing my hair tomorrow night. Oh, I like how my curls look, hello. Whoa, okay definition. Dang. All right. <laughs> oh man, I was not expecting that. You guys are gonna see this video before my updated what I do to my hair when I work out video or what I do to my wash and go specifically. Workout video, even the routine is the same no matter what hairstyle I'm rocking. But this is even with, out of the seven days that I've had my hair in this particular wash and go, I've worked out for five days and my hair still looks like this. <sighs> wow. Leave-in conditioner gave me a huge foundation of moisture because up until yesterday, I did not refresh or add any other product to this seven day old wash and go. So that gave me a huge, huge leg up for my hair still looking and feeling nice and juicy and moisturized and giving my definer a really good base before going in with the actual curl defining aspect and it just really held its own. Now, this is the second product that I've tried from this brand and the more things that I try, the more that I'm convinced that this is gonna become one of my staple lines. The next thing I'm trying is the Matcha Boost that a lot of you guys said you were interested in in my little mini haul video that I posted, I think before this one. A lot of people said they were interested in that one and on Instagram, so I will be reviewing that next. Can't wait. My hair probably needs a little bit of protein soon, so I'll probably be trying that in the next like month or less. Just like the orange marmalade, this deep conditioner has very clean, simple, but well thought out ingredients. So the ingredients are okra extract, which is really good for slip, marshmallow root extract, aloe vera juice, subtle alcohol, and it says that it's a good fatty alcohol, so I like that if people are concerned about alcohol content and they don't know all their alcohols and things like that, they're not like really into reading ingredients, it lets you know right there that that is a good fatty alcohol that your hair will love. We've got colza oil, coconut cream, jojoba oil, argan oil, banana extract, and dermal plus. And just like the orange marmalade, this one is supposed to be kept in the refrigerator. So my other two, that's where they live now. They're in the refrigerator, but this one's out because I've been using it. And that's it for the ingredients. Super duper simple, clean, no fragrance added. So if you're someone who has a sensitivity to different smells, this line is for you. Again, this comes in 16 beautiful ounces. So needless to say, two for two from Eco Slay. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this review. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. That helps out my channel so, so much. And if you haven't subscribed, please do so as well. That'd be awesome. And I will see you guys really soon in my next video. Take care and I'll see you then. Bye.